Caxton, Illinois. Still got about another, uh oh, 140 miles to go. Passing through Champaign, which is home of the University of Illinois. It's about 35 miles down the road. gas station. I guess he's been up all night plowing the fields. I could see that on my way up that a lot of people were out. Today's been the best day so far I think to plow the fields. And I could tell he was fighting to stay awake. actually been colder the farther south I've been going the cooler it's been getting it was like about 72 degrees when I left out from home but it sure feels like it's uh, more like mid 60s down here and I think there's been some rain showers move in but uh, I think they just cooled the air off I don't think they actually hit the ground they must have evaporated because I, I can see them far off in the distance and I'm heading towards them but when I get there pavement's dry. So I'm thinking it's those type of rain showers that don't make it all the way to the ground but still cool the air off. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Been getting pretty decent gas mileage, getting about 50 miles to the gallon, so that's pretty good. Slightly over as a matter of fact. So anyway, shut her up and I will uh, talk to you guys again when I get closer to Mount Vernon. Well I made it to Mount Vernon with just one minor glitch. Lost this little screw here so got elastic cord and rubber bands holding this in place but that's fine. It'll do me till I get to Kansas City. Then I'll go buy a dealer and get a replacement bolt there. Yeah, I remember about a week before I left tightening that up too, but maybe you need some Loctite or something. But anyway, if that's the worst that happened in the whole trip, I'm doing pretty good. Seems to be running fine. <laughs> Now to go get some grub. See what kind of eating establishments Mount Vernon has. Uh, uh. It's nice when it's overcast, but if the sun's out very long, boy, it heats up fast. It looks like this is the main strip uh, where not only all the motels are, all the eating places. I think there's a yeah, there's a Steak and Shake, a Hardee's, probably is. I go on down the line, I'll see a selection of all the standard restaurants. Let's cruise for a little ways and see what we see.
grocery store, Taco Bell. Zoli's Panda Express. Oh, and there's a Wendy's up ahead. John Silver's across the ways, but uh, last few times I went to Long John Silver's, it's like a huge amount of batter and a little sliver of stuff in the middle, so I'm not interested in buying batter.